What's on the mind of McCants? This is another PSA to parents as well as some of you athletes out there. All right, let's reiterate what can't be taught. Size, speed, and talent. You can't teach them. Size, speed, talent can't be taught. Now, I do these vlog blogs when something keeps reoccurring in my life. This week, probably for the last two weeks, does size matter? Yes. Yes, it does. Colleges look at size because it's easy to see somebody 6'4", 225 that can throw a ball 70, 70 yards. It's easy to see somebody 7 feet and that can dunk the ball behind their neck. It's easy to see a guy that's 6'7", 300 pounds and that can move like a gazelle. That's why size does matter. And size matters when it comes to collisions. I had a kid ask me, hey, Coach, are stretch marks good? No. Ask any woman. Stretch marks are not good. But his coach has told him that he needs to get bigger. Why? Are you qualified? Why do you tell a 14 to 15 year old kid that they need to get bigger? You're not doing their genetic code. What is your background? Are you training them to get bigger? And what is the purpose? Parents, your children will grow, most of them. But you have to understand what level are they going to go to? Are you trying to play at the next level? You have Daryl Greens, um, Spurls, you have a Brandon Banks, Dante Hall. They weren't big guys. The bottom line is, can you ball? Can he play ball? He's 6'4", 225, ran a 4'4", 1. Can he play the game? Can he play ball? That's what it really boils down to. So some of these coaches are underqualified. Are you qualified? To tell your child that they need to gain weight or they need to get bigger when they're not even finished growing. When they're not even finished growing. Finished growing. Finished growing. Because what if your child's game is based off speed? Because he may not be speed training while he's lifting weights. For you athletes that are watching, ask yourself, why am I getting bigger? Should you work out? Yes. Should you lift weights? Yes. Should you run? Yes. You should do everything you're supposed and required to do to become a better athlete. Now, if you get bigger in that process, great. But the goal is to have strong, dense muscle fibers. So playing a collision sport, you don't get broke up. Size matters when it comes to collisions. Coach, how? how? How do I gain weight? Oh, I just need to lift and eat? Eat what? How do I need to lift? How do I get bigger and stronger and faster without, or, or how can I gain weight and get bigger, stronger, and faster without losing my abilities? You don't want to be big and bulky and lifting like a, a, a professional uh, bodybuilder versus an athlete. You should be working on explosion and speed because that's what the game of football is based off of. You're eating properly and putting in some extra work the size will come. In size matters when it comes to collisions. Now, what you put into it is what you get out of it. Just that simple. Stretch marks are not good. You don't need to have stretch marks. They've gotten all big and heavy up top because everybody just wants to bench press and then their bodies aren't adjusted to the weight. So your balance and stability is thrown off. So first thing to go, knees. Once those knees go, make sure you get a good education. Some of these coaches are underqualified now they're coming back and telling these kids that, hey, you need to be bigger. Now, how can you tell a child that they need to be bigger when genetics plays a major part? Size, speed, and talent can't be taught. Because he's a linebacker at the high school level, he may be a safety at the collegiate level. So to take away what his ability may be by gaining weight, and especially if it's not monitored, so if you're telling the kid, hey, well, you need to gain 10 pounds, and they don't know that to run. They don't know how to eat. And it's not being taught. You're putting that child in the bath. Some of these coaches are underqualified or they've played just high school football, come back because they're part of the system. And now they're telling you how successful they were or what you need to do to be successful. So you have to be real realistic with yourself and your parents have to be realistic with you as well as themselves. That's on the mind of McCants. I am Coach McCants. Over and out.